Oh, is this the first? Yeah, it's the first Outer Limits episode. Okay, I'm just gonna let. I'm not gonna say anything. Those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, These are wonderful. Princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. Or Night Springs, that's what it is. Yeah, Night Springs, not Outer Limits. Tonight's episode: A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Man, that would have been so great to be the one that like made all of the Ladies little short films for this. Press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here. At the Moorcock Institute. The Moorcock Institute. I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many yep. worlds interpretation. As they knew what they were doing. As you see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that <laughs> a real gun? He's kidding, right? <laughs> please, please. Stay calm. You, you just go to a conference and a dude just pulls out a fucking gun and they're all just like, what? The weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself <laughs> cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire. And one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is. Couldn't you have just like demonstrated that with like something less fatal? Myself, quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. Yeah, who cares? I don't care about any of those. Could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. <laughs> this one thing did not. That fucking guy, man. Oh. Uh. You're insane, Colvin. Insane. Insane. Oh shit! I should probably plug hey, this back in. Is this thing supposed to be plugged in? <laughs> I stumbled on it. You <laughs> this fucking guy. Game. Oh no. <laughs> Dr. Colvin, felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often I'm going to need I'm going to need that in the Criterion collection, please. I need I need a 4K Blu-ray special edition. <laughs> I fucking love that, man. Oh, it's so good. Oh, was that a moth up there? Hey, we got some little moths hanging out. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> it's just the dude that trips over the cord. He's just like, oh, uh, is this important? <laughs> he just like doesn't know. Oh, it's so good, man. And yeah, like, couldn't the scientist guy just, like, use something less fatal? Like, oh, actually, you know, in this reality, uh, I don't poke myself in the knee with a fork a little bit. But, uh, in another reality, I do. Okay, I don't need any more batteries. I'm full up. Is there anything over here? Anything over here? Nope, 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 okay. Again, OSHA, y'all got, man, y'all, this logging company, like, Jesus Christ. They're gonna fucking kill somebody. We gotta get OSHA out here, man. When I worked at Walmart, like, we spilled a little bit of Fabuloso on the floor and it was like a three hour ordeal. 
Oh, shit. There's a guy back there. Dodge! Oh, no! Oh, shit, we died. <laughs> I was too I was too busy talking about uh, uh, Walmart. <laughs> I died. Oh my god. Okay. 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 I gotta actually like play the game. Uh, we need to switch to the the shotgun here. I think it'll help. It just takes forever to like actually get the the like meter down on them. It takes a long time. Actually, you know what? No. 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 Ah. Ah, dodge. We gotta reload. Ah! Ah! Reload the damn gun! Oh my god, come on! Reload the gun! <laughs> Holy shit. It's like a weird dodge button, too. You gotta, like, hit shift. Okay, let's reload the gun before we get over there, please. Thank you. I'm clearly, like, an expert at video games, if you didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! Stop focusing on the, the one guy. Oh my god, the cinematic camera is fucking killing me. Stop it. There we go. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming we got him. reach the lights at the gas station alive. Okay. Yeah, the cinematic camera like goes nuts sometimes when you're in a big group of enemies and you have to dodge them all and then it's like, where the hell am I? Combat was not this game's strong suit, but the narrative is so good. It's also crazy to think that this game is as old as it is now. I think it came in like 2008. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. This game's like 14 years old or something like that. Only if they have more than 10 employees. After the oh, okay. Insanity I had just experienced in the darkness. The lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. Oh. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake. That is true, Nikki. You could tell us all about how OSHA and Hell would be. The never showed to pick up the keys. Things had been fuzzy. Something. You get that HR degree. Attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Oh no, that's how Stucky died. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Oh no. A whole week. You did pass your final for employment law, which 30% of was labor laws. Well, congratulations. Awesome. Good job passing the final. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone I don't think I could pass the final these days. Or that there'd been some kind of fight. Yeah. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. <laughs> outside the yep. cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? <laughs> yeah. If the business has less than 10 people, you can just do whatever the hell you want. Like, hey, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, like, just openly screw around with nuclear uh, uh, rods. No, no big deal. Don't worry about it. It's fine. The 68th annual Deer Fest, September 15th to 18th. Oh, I should do my, oh, I got to do my, hold on. I got to do my uh, 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 voice that I use at work when I do uh, advertisements for, like, events stuff. <clears throat> Here we go. 
September uh, the 68th annual Deer Fest, September 15th to 18th. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contest, and surprise competitions. Live music for the children. Don't forget about Bucktooth Charlie in the afternoons and Montgomery the Mystic's amazing Phantasmagoria in the evenings. Don't miss the legendary Deer Fest parade. There you go. How was that? We probably need a second take, but <laughs> pie or pie eating contest. Did it say? I mean, I, I'm fine with either pie contest. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah, you're right. It just says pie contest. Do you eat it or do you make it or both? Okay. We got to find the phone. Where's the phone? There it is. Okay. We got to go around the counter. We can't jump over the counter. That would be rude. That doesn't have speaker phone. Man, the response time is amazing. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. You look like you your okay? wife probably hit you while Listen, you were... She was trying to we'll escape your murder. Out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station. Okay? We're gonna have to arrest you for murder, Mr. and then Wake, take you out back you and shoot Stucky, you, because that's how we do it in this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Uh, no, officer. I... There was nobody home. He definitely didn't die in... The really dangerous logging company's lot. She's <laughs> like, oh, this guy's nuts. Dun, dun, dun. Where's the island? Previously We're gonna skip the copyrighted Wake. music. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I love how it's like episodes. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Ah! Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked they could have actually made a show out of this. Nightmare. They totally could have done it as a TV the show. took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. What a douche. Yeah, he's, a, he's kind of a dick. Yeah, it would have been very Twin Peaksy if they had done it as a TV show. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Look <laughs> at that. That one, the, the one, uh, the last one, uh, second to last one on the row. He's just like, hey, ladies. You know you want to come home with me, but uh, turns out uh, you can't tonight because uh, you got to be up in the morning for work. So uh, don't worry about it. I'll just cover your tab and send you weird text messages at 2 a.m. You got that off of a IKEA poster. I love that they're like his wife should be a photographer. We just need to find the most generic uh, stock photos that we can find online, and that's it. Oh, the QR code. I don't remember where the QR code takes you, but if anybody wants to uh, uh, try it out, uh, feel free. It's been a long time. I don't remember where that where that went. 
This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. Oh, this is his book that he wrote. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling <laughs> the the city. <laughs> that is basically him at the beginning of this game. I can see them now. My wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. He just comes home and she's like, Oh, Alan, it's so good to see you. It's been like two days because you're on a work trip. Oh, I made you your favorite meal. And he's like, Shut the fuck up and just go away. <laughs> Return to Cinder. I've got to go masturbate in the bathroom sink. Leave me alone. <laughs> Give me a beer, you piece of shit. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs> what is he, Homelander? Ayo. Oh, man, I wish that was here right now. I wish I was in, like, an impossibly high building with snow coming down. That would be great. It was, like, a thousand degrees today. Oh, what do we got in the closet? What's in the closet? Oh, what kind of psychopath has nothing in their closet? That's insane. <laughs> I was thinking he's doing a Homelander. And what kind of bathroom is this? You just got like a... You just have a dryer in the bathroom? Or maybe it's one of those like combo dryer things. You just got like one... Clearly like this is not a real apartment. We're just like in a staged squatter home. We're just squatting in like a in a party. Like this, this is like all decorated and shit. And then you just go inside Finland. <laughs> you just go in the bathroom and there's just nothing. Oh, we bought a brand new TV. Look at that. The CCTV model WSOX 32 LLSD5200. That's the best model in the entire uh, universe. It makes you nachos and has surround sound to heat towels. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe that's it. Maybe they just got a, uh, a thing. You know, I will say uh, the towel warmer Coffee's was, on. It, it's pretty good. It. Towel warmers are pretty good. Tomorrow. Go to Alice. You didn't get at me in that coffee. Whoosh. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On a case, Usually you're I slow as shit. All sorts of miracles, my dear. <laughs> hey, it usually takes you forever. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time and has such an easy time. to remember name oh, too. Speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan, <laughs> Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. You just right have an exposed. Here, We're oh, squatting in this lights. apartment. Get the lights back on now, please. Honey, oh, it's okay. a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. It's a power outage. You okay? I'm sorry. I just. It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know yeah. it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. <laughs> Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? The clicker yeah. ended up killing my if entire I got family. Of the dark, I, could just flip the switch I don't remember if it explains her fear of darkness. Away. I think oh, it sure. does, kind of. I don't remember. Here it is. Alan. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. And an Thanks asshole.
Man, everybody in this game is so horny. The present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? You're so much just like yourself on fire. I murdered like okay. eight people, my head's but fine. I'm okay. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm -hmm. I clearly have to ignore any, um, you know, medical you attention I might need and just run blindly into the forest looking for my wife. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Who probably nice. ran away. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc she doesn't Nelson like it when I call her Sarah. She beats doctor. me for it. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I'm just gonna wander around the police station. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? <laughs> Not the biggest I ever caught. Oh, that coming he from caught a me. Like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. I'm now, just gonna, if you want either so trout or salmon, on the other we're hand, we're just gonna, then it's fly fishing we're, for you. We're just, we're just, we're just, we're just, we're just gonna... That's nice. <sighs> An old man talking to you at length about fishing when you literally don't want to know anything about it? I don't know anything about that growing up in rural Texas. Have you seen this man? He disappeared in uh, June 20th of 2007. Identifying features. He has a knack for winning contests. That's really going to help you find it. Hey, guy. Uh... Can you win this contest for me? No? Oh, well, too bad. I guess it wasn't you. Richard Bow, Bruce Dansky, and Jacob Miller, all missing on a camping trip. Overdue. Haven't been in contact. If you have seen them or know their whereabouts, please call this number. You're more concerned about the missing cat. Wait, there's a missing cat? Oh, yeah, that's way worse. Fuck that guy. The cat, that that's sad. Look at him. He looks great. I bet you I, I bet you any amount of money these guys are developers. I bet you that's pictures of developers. A hundred percent, man. Wait, what was there a read on the, the tank? Oh no, it's trying to okay. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. That's great. I'm going this way that instead. Was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She oh, we're going to hear our life story now, too. of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um well, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Yeah, she'll break back her mom's her back. Day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Okay. We're going to explore the police station. Let's let's press some buttons. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign uh, of Oh, him. yeah. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the parade float. Oh, they're more worried about the parade float. The good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving Not after the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. I'd take a call for the director on the hotline. You kidding me? That'd be awesome. Okay, what's this manuscript page? Alice sees a shadow. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin. It was her dad. He was like, you should leave this Alan Wake guy. He's kind of a piece of shit. Just a collection of bushes. She's like, no, but I actually really love shaped. him. She shook her head and laughed. Her dad was like, he's probably going to murder you someday. You should get the hell out of there. The sheriff wants to see you in her office. I Mr. know. Maybe I want to go out back first. 
Oh, I can't. Okay. You notice there's uh, multiple missing cat posters, but only a few posters of the or one poster of those guys. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. I looked through your phone to see if I could find any photos of the murder, but there was only photos of your own penis. It was really small. Your phone, Mr. Wake? Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night. But I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Yeah, you already said that. Unknown Excuse me. Guy. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see a That was the most convincing. Alan, Who please help me. Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Mr. Wake, can I help you with Don't anything? Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I need yeah, to give get me a donor. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Hey, Wake. You can get there hey, through the cell corridor. Hey! Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. He knows. They won't listen to me. I... I need it to be bright in here. You always listen to the drunk guy. The, in every horror movie, the drunk guy who's yelling crazy shit from the jail cell, he always knows what's up, man. Hey! Hey! In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some lights... My crotch. Ravaging it, but it took the pain. <laughs> the was, dumbest joke I've ever made. Soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. D me? Not Texas. The Texas can power grid's not going to supply that. Please help me, man. Texas power morning grid morning barely supply like eyes and made my fucking nightlight. The man on the phone had said, "Go through the fence on the left." What's on the radio? Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> it's been a busy night uh, for the sheriff's one department. One more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on me. Shots fired? Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating <laughs> the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this. Every year, I know it's exciting. The big day is almost here, but but don't set off fireworks in your own garage and blow your house up. We had like eight of those last year. We can't keep doing that. Totally not something that happened where I grew up. <laughs> Kick it. I love that that's like your one interaction with stuff in this game is just kick the shit out of it, man. It's a lot of manuscript the pages. The fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. <laughs> yeah, you the just shoot, man. His hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall and the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Where's my wife? I've got to beat the shit out of her. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. He wanted to open up a jelly donut stand. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying I to reach you I fucking love Barry. He's the best character. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. We gotta get to Elderwood National Park. Barry is literally the best character in this entire game. <laughs> oh, God. There's a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness. 
Yeah, beating that horse this. like I'm beating the Alice. A sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. <laughs> the dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Alright, he's gonna save her. 